So this is just a quick little video that I wanted to make. Um, so, um, hyperspace. I want to talk about hyperspace in the Star Wars, basically. Um, you know, traveling at, you know, and the hyperdrives and, and the, how faster than like speed, speed works in the new canon. Uh, because we haven't, so far I know we haven't really had any, the, ha, had any material go in depth into this. And it, it's sort of different to how it were, how most people thought it would, thought it would. Because most people would think um, that it would, that um, hyperspace would be, wouldn't it be just you going really, really fast. Um, you know, it would just be like um, going into an alternate dimension. Um, or something like that. Um, and then, you know, like a wormhole kind of thing. Um, but that kind of notion was sort of destroyed when Holdo, Holdo rammed his ship into the First Order. But here's an idea that I've had that could possibly work. So, um, hyperspace might be a more like a, a state of being, I guess you could say. That's the easiest way I can describe it. Describe it. Um, where it could be. So basically, my idea here is you enter hyperspace when you go X um, percent of the speed of light. So like you go, if you hit like 98% of the speed of light or something like that, then you will go so, f or like if you get over the speed of light, you go into hyperspace and it, um, and it, uh, you basically can ignore... You, you basically, uh, the, you know, all the traveling of through space and everything is uh, the rules with all that, all that is different. Because if you were just going super, super fast, then you'd never be able to get anywhere because a simple asteroid, which the galaxy would be littered with billions of them, would have essentially the same effect as Holdo ramming in to the First Order's ships. Because that's how physics and the de um, light and all that uh, works because you're putting a ton of energy into that rock and um, that and the, that rock is just whatever it is is not you can't destroy it on an atomic level and it's not going to get moved away fast enough so no matter what material your ship is made out of it's just going to cut through it like butter um um, so, um, what if, when you're in hyperspace, um, smaller bodies don't, uh, don't affect you, such as comets and asteroids, um, they, you know, smaller ones don't really affect you, which would be the majority, it would be, like, the larger ones that have, uh, uh, somewhat of a gra gravitational pull, they're that big, um, like, Oh, what's that planet that keeps on... That keep, people keep on debating whether or not it's big enough to be regarded as a planet. But anyway, you know, larger astro, larger um, celestial bodies would only pull you out of it. And, here, and this will explain why you can't go into hyperspace near a gravity well. Because a gravity well, well, apart from uh, the computer taking you out of it. Because if, if in hyperspace you just basically ignored... Uh, um, you were going so you was like in a different state of being, and it, uh, you could just go through anything. Then, why would you need to need to come out of hyperspace to avoid hitting a planet? Well, what if the gravity of that planet also manifests itself in hyperspace, meaning that if you went through the gravity well of something in hyperspace, it could potentially slow you down enough to pull you out of hyperspace um which again in the inter interdictor class uh, star destroyer i do believe they're called uh can pull ships out of hyperspace using the gravity well generators so um you go uh, so say this is uh, the um planet's gravitational well and this is a ship it's going along in hyperspace, and then it goes to here, and then it starts slowing down, and it become and it comes back into normal space, where it promptly blows up because it's in the middle of a planet. Yeah. 
Um, so that would definitely make it mucky. And obviously, um, and the, the reason why Holdo could uh, ram his ship into uh, the First Order is because you need to get up to X amount of speed to get into hyperspace, meaning that she couldn't have hit that speed for, you know, before hitting the First Order, meaning that she was going super fast, but not fast enough to go into hyperspace, meaning that she, that uh, the ship would still have presence within the, the physical world, uh, phys you know, within regular space, meaning that would, that happened, and uh, uh, like I said, if you were just going super fast, um, within theory, obviously you can't prove any of this, uh, uh, this is all science fiction, but within theory, if you hit anything at faster than light speed, um, or even close to light speed, then I don't think there's, no matter what, like, anything is made out of, it's, it's going to go cut through you like butter, um, within theory. Um, and, uh, yeah, that would explain the pot plot holes, well, one of the many plot holes from The Last Jedi, would explain why Holdo could ram into the First Order, but it also explains why random asteroids doesn't uh, just kill um, you if you, you know, because it's impossible to keep track of all the uh, uh, wandering asteroids, so it's more than likely that you're probably going to ram, in, ram into one if you're going in there, if if you're if you're not in like another state of being, um, that's where to the point where you can just go through without it physically affecting you, um, and uh, yeah, that uh, that um, that's what how I think um, hyperspace works in Star Wars. And again, I'm not defending Last Jedi here. It's a rubbish movie. It subverted uh, your expectations in the worst way possible, and it was just apart from uh, uh, the bit with Luke and uh, Ray on the island, uh, all of it was completely pointless and a waste of time and boring. All actively made me angry. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.